Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be making something a little bit unusual for us. Uh, this was uh, sent to us by Damien, who lives in Tennessee. Um, he sent us a bunch of food, and we've done one review. We're working on some other stuff. Uh, these are all from Mexico. This particular one is the uh, coconut flavored uh, gelatin dessert, and I'm assuming it's like a jello. And um, it is 60 calories for I don't know how big the serving size is. It doesn't matter because we're not measuring it out, so whatever. Um, we wanted to give a special thanks to Adlin, Vaden, Dominic, and Bryce. We really appreciate you guys watching too. Um, so what you do with this, and a lot of this is in Spanish, so I can't read it. So, uh, But there are do have English directions on them, so it's okay. What's weird about this one is you prepare it with milk. I've never had a Jell-O type product that you prepare with milk. That's very strange. So you're going to empty the contents of this package into one um, into four cups of boiling milk. Stir completely until dissolved, pour into molds and refrigerate until gelled, and it recommends about two hours. So I've got my four cups of milk, which is, that's a lot of milk. And I got my pan here. Uh, I'm gonna start my milk boiling and then I'll be back when it's all boiled. Okay, the milk boiled. So I'm gonna pour this container of stuff in here and stir until it's all dissolved. Now, what are you thinking when it says gelatin dessert? Are you thinking like pudding or are you thinking about like jiggly jello? I was thinking pudding, but then you said you thought. Well, it's gelatin. I would gelatin, think it would be like, like, a, like jello. Like, I mean, like jiggly jello. Right, like watch it jiggle, see it wiggle. But I can't yeah. imagine this being like that. But, but I, I don't know. For some reason, I, I just, I thought pudding. Well, we'll find out. So I'm going to, I think it's pretty much dissolved already, but I'm going to make sure that it's dissolved. And what I've got are these, I'm just going to put them in these bowls. It says to put them in a mold. We don't have a mold. So I've just got these cups. I'm just going to put them in here and um, equally. And then if it gets too full, I'll get something else to put the rest of it in. So, um, I don't want to pour it because I'll make a mess. So I'm going to fill these up and then uh, I will put them in the refrigerator for two hours and I'll be back. I was invited for pudding. That's coconut, what it looks like at least. Coconut pudding. Um, it actually, we got four bowls out, but it made five. Right, it, it ended up making five. And they're huge bowls. And I, I, I think I said it was coconut flavored, but I want to make sure. Oh, wow. No, it's like, it's like jiggly jello. Isn't it? You think? Yeah, that's like a jiggly jello, not a not a pudding. <laughs> Look, it's jiggly, wiggly. That looks like um, it looks like glue or something. It does or, look or like caulking, paste. caulking or white caulking that has that jiggly, has jiggly, 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 that has dried. That's hilarious. That um reminds me of like a a coconut cream pie a little bit. It has the texture of a of a jiggly jello, um, but it has the taste of like a, a it literally tastes like a coconut cream pie to me. Because it has that creamy flavor from the milk. Mm -hmm. And that coconut flavor. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Yeah, it is. Now would you think you would eat it plain like this all the time or would you put it with something? Just plain. You could probably put whipped cream on top of it. There's I think this is Plenty. I mean, that's that's gonna fill you up right there. If you were to eat that whole bowl, that's very filling. I think it's good. I don't know that it's something I would want to buy like all the time, all the time, right. competitively. Um, he also did said, didn't he say there were different flavors of this? Yes. He got the coconut for me, honestly, but he said his favorite was pistachio it's, or it's on that note. And oh, I'll get it's, it. It was either walnut or almond. It was something. It was a nut. It was on the front. Um. And he might have told me on Instagram. 
You know what? I think he, yeah, he, 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 told, so. he told me on Instagram, and we're using my phone to record, so we can't look. It's okay, um, but he anyway, he said there was basically other flavors. It's either like almond or walnut or so, something. Uh, so I appreciate you getting the coconut for me. Oh, it yeah. is really, really yeah. good. It does taste like a... To me, it tastes just like a, a coconut cream pie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's weird having that texture, that jello texture with that flavor. It's so unusual. Mm-hmm. I'm just not used to that. You know, jello is usually cherry lime, you know, right. orange, those right. typical flavors, not coconut. That's, coconut, <laughs> that's yeah, really it's just strange. a different flavor. But it is good. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much for sending it to us. Uh, you said at the beginning who gave it to us and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. When I started I making it. I wasn't in on that. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, thank you very much for sending it to mm-hmm. us, and it was good. And so hopefully everyone else enjoyed getting to see this. If you see those packets, I don't know where Damien bought these, but if you see those, those packets in your area, now you'll know what it is. It's actually like Jell-O. So uh, thanks for watching.